Today you're going to learn this song stripped back, unplugged on acoustic guitar. Hey there, Bun and Campfire Guitar Heroes, it's Dean again bringing you those forgotten songs we all love to remember. Welcome to another episode of my quirky, cool English song series where I've brought you these previous episodes. But today I'll get all dark and moody with an Amy Winehouse classic. And stick around where I'm going to reveal a connection between Amy Winehouse and Disney's High School Musical. Released back in 2006, this song is a metaphor for Amy's tumultuous relationship with her then boyfriend Blake Fielder Civil, who she later married. As I keep saying, most songs that have ever been written are about makeups, breakups, or hookups, and this one was about her breakup from her boyfriend, where she was really doing it hard, and he seemed to just have moved on, went back to his old flame, and you can hear that in the lyrics of the song. As all great love stories go, they did eventually make up, and as I said, they got married. But then they infamously and tragically spiraled into a destructive relationship fueled with booze and drugs, which eventually claimed Amy's life at the age of 27. And that has connected her with some other famous and notable musicians who have all died at the age of 27, being Kurt Cobain, Janis Joplin, Jimi Hendrix, Brian Jones, and of course Jim Morrison. So it's a sad and dark song which reflects her state of mind at the time it was written. My favourite line in the song is at the top of the third verse where it goes, I love you much, it's not enough, you love blow and I love puff. Which was sadly describing the conflict she was having in this drug-infused relationship at the time. Look, the song was a title track for the hugely successful album Back to Black where it beat out another album for number one best-selling album of 2007. I wonder what that was. You guessed it, Disney's High School Musical. Look, the single Back to Black is not her biggest selling single, but is arguably her signature song, particularly after her death in 2011. And from a Campfire Guitar Hero perspective, it's a pretty easy song to play. It's got the same four chord progression pretty much through the whole song, apart from the bridge. The challenge is to sing it with conviction and to try and invoke the mood that has been ingrained into the story behind the song. So with that said, I'm about to show you the basics of Amy Winehouse's Back to Black so you can make this song your own. What I recommend when you're learning the song is to download the free song sheet from my Patreon page, all the details below. It's got the chords, it's got the lyrics, and it's a useful guide to have in front of you while you're learning this song. Now this song was originally sung in the key of D minor, but I'm going to play it in the key of E minor and I'm putting a capo on fret three just so it sort of fits into the, the sweet spot for my voice. And remember, I'm a left-hand guitarist playing on a right-hand strung guitar, so all my finger patterns may appear upside down to some of you, but don't let that worry you because I'm gonna put the chord patterns on the screen right there. No worries, let's make a start. Okay, as I said, E minor, the root chord. It's got an A minor. It's got a C and it's got a B7. And then the verse goes like this. He left no time to regret Kept his dick wet The same old safe bed And it just repeats over and over again that, that four chord cycle and notice the strum I'm doing. I'm doing a bit of a, what I call an arpeggio strum where I'm, I'm picking the, the bass string and then I'm running my finger up or in the case of a right hand guitarist down to the skinny string. So, change. And that's the mood of the song, that's sort of the tempo of the song. Um, just do that sort of picking, or you can just do basic down strums. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. 
one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Run out of breath there. Okay, quick down strums or that. Don't forget to download the free song sheet for this song or all of the songs that I do. They're on my Patreon page, the details below. And while you're there, look, if you like the work I do, you can actually support me on Patreon for as little as the cost of a coffee a month. But hey, any support you guys give me is super, super appreciated. Now let's get back to the lesson. The best thing about this song is the chorus is no different to the verse. Same four chords. Let's do it now. I'll demo it. We only said goodbye with words. I died a hundred times. And you go back to her and I go back. I go back. Back to the verse. To us. I love you much. And so on. Now I do a full playthrough of this song at the end of the video. In fact, I'll probably send a link to a separate video because YouTube's pinging me for all these copyright strikes, which is fair enough, I didn't write this song, but I keep the video separate. Do my full song cover, link above, and this is the lesson. Now the last part of the song is the bridge where it gets really dark and moody, and I love this part of the song. And it's um, these chords, it does the E minor again. And then a C major seven. Chord patterns on the screen there, to a G. And then back to that cool B7. And focus on strumming just the bass strings. I'll do it for you now. Black. 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 Mood. Black, black, black. And then bring it home with the chorus. We only said goodbye with words. I died a hundred times. And you go back to the and I go back. the song finishes with a bit you can do a bit more of an outro check out my song cover to see how I play it but that is how you play Amy Winehouse back to black hey folks if you love today's lesson don't forget to check out my other quirky cool English song lessons that I've done in the last few weeks next week I'm bringing you somebody who I was a super fan of when I was growing up Kim Wilde kids in America. So thanks for watching folks. I know you got a lot of choice on YouTube so the fact that you chose to watch this lesson means a heck of a lot to me. So until next week don't forget Campfire Guitar Hero where all you need is a few chords, a few friends, maybe a few drinks and everyone's a rock star.